With the hardware configuration open, double click the CPU to open its properties. Click on the Diagnostics Clock tab. By default, the box Report Cause of Stop tells the CPU to write a diagnostics message in the diagnostics buffer if the CPU goes to stop. Leave this box checked unless you do not want CPU stop messages written into the diagnostics buffer. The number listed in the number of messages in the diagnostics buffer field determines the number of messages which can be viewed in the diagnostics buffer while online with the CPU in run. All messages can be seen when the CPU is in the stop mode. Time synchronization can be set in the PLC internally, on the multipoint interface or MPI network externally, and with a correction factor in milliseconds. The PLC can be set as a master where the CPU synchronizes other clocks, or as a slave where the CPU is synchronized by other clocks. The same settings apply to synchronization on the MPI network. Click OK when you're done parameterizing the CPU. Keep in mind that if the CPU parameters are changed, the hardware configuration must be saved and compiled and downloaded again. The other tabs of CPU properties are discussed in separate videos. This concludes the video on